The war in Syria entered its fifth year on March 15, and there have been humanitarian hands which walk behind the scenes. One of those prominent hands is UNHCR, as it is the main humanitarian agency concerning with refugees, helping people who are most in need. UNHCR staff in Syria confirmed the importance of cooperation between the agency and every other party and appreciate the valuable roles made basically by the Syrian government, its institutions and NGOs. We, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees in Syria, highly appreciate partners' roles, especially the Syrian government, as we consult them while setting plans to deal with the crisis. We also get benefit from the governmental public and health centers. There are other partners of NGOs who will help us in achieving our consecutive missions, such as the Syrian Red Crescent, who effectively helps us distributing humanitarian aids. The first six months of 2015 have seen fresh fighting and the massive displacement of one million people, some multiple times throughout Syria. Therefore, UNSCR response to huge displacement from people fleeing the fighting in Idlib, Balmera, Hasaka and Dara. This staff provided us with some statistics about the achievements of the organization during this period. Presently, UNHCR is dealing with 7.6 million uh, displaced people within Syria. In addition, UNHCR in the surrounding countries are dealing with 4.1 million uh, Syrian refugees. Our response in Syria so far this year, uh, we have assisted 1.5 million people with uh, core relief items such as blankets, uh, sleeping mats, mattresses, plastic sheeting. We have assisted half a million people uh, through our primary healthcare centres throughout the, the country and we have also assisted 20 million people with shelter solutions. There is no doubt that UNHCR has been facing very difficult, challenging and volatile operating conditions over the war. These hard conditions include the risk of collateral damage from gunfire, rockets and mortar shell. This staff also suffers from limited and sometimes denied access to some areas which are controlled or besieged by ISIS and other extremist groups. We have two basic kinds of challenges. The first is hard to reach areas as we could reach 12 of 14 Syrian governorates due to the security risks. Secondly, we suffer from lack of funding as the funding percentage is only 35% for this year. However, despite everything, there are hope and determination with one such example being in Homs Old City and the return of its people to their homes after more than two years of conflict. The Syrian war has created the biggest refugee crisis in the world. So UNHCR here in Syria, bear the brunt, coordinating with the Syrian government and other partners on the ground and achieving a great job. Despite of the lack of funding and threats faced by their teams, Ghadir Salman for MEC, Damascus.